Hello viewers, welcome to iTech Combo. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to sample a continuous time signal. So, let's make a continuous time signal. So, first of all, t equal to 0 to 0 0.01 to 2. So, I am making a signal of 2 seconds. It's actually not a continuous time signal, it is a pseudo continuous time signal since computer cannot deal with uh, continuous time signal. So x will be uh, 10 sine 2 pi. Uh, let's give a frequency out there. Let's frequency be f and t. So uh, let's define frequency as 1 now let's plot the signal in the figure number out there let's plot this signal of t versus uh, x so let's see run the code uh, this is the signal out there. This is continuous time signal and I want to sample this signal. So let's go further <coughs> Let's uh, say I have the uh, sampling frequency f is equal to 10. So for every one second, I will have 10 sample. So n should be 0 to uh, the signal is of 2 second so sample uh, will be 2 star f of s f of s uh, minus 1 since I am starting with uh, 0 ok 0 to 2 into f s minus 1 ok now uh, I have to find the sample signal this is equal to 10 sine uh, 2 pi 2 pi now uh, I have to give f out there f out there and give n out there and divided by I have to give the sample frequency so this is the uh, <coughs> a discrete time signal so let's plot this give a figure number out there figure yeah, figure ok and then instead of plotting I will be use steam uh, steam n versus x of s so let's run this code and you can see uh, I have 10 points out there per uh, second so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and another 10 points out there so this is all for sampling see you in the next tutorial for quantization thank you